The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is an island of garbage in the Pacific that was created by currents pulling and pushing waste from the ocean to one spot where it forms a giant floating island of garbage. How big, you ask? The estimate is that the total amount of accumulated plastic is around 79 million kilograms to 100 million kilograms of garbage, mostly plastic. But now there is some good news. An organization called the Ocean Cleanup recently announced that it has removed more than 100,000 kilograms of plastic from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. And here is Boyan Slat, the founder and CEO of Ocean Cleanup. At the Ocean Cleanup, we just passed a very exciting milestone because our crews in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch just collected their 100,000th kilo of plastic. Now, you probably have no idea what 100,000 kilos of plastic looks like, so we thought, why not visualize it here by putting together one kilo of plastic from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. So, start with this random thing, we're almost halfway. We got some nets and ropes here, got a DVD case, some crate fragments, some more smaller fragments, and an eel trap. Okay, we're very close. So if you now just add a whiff of microplastics. Boom, okay. So this, 100,000 times, now permanently removed from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. And we're now joined by Arjen Chalema. He's a technology manager for the Ocean Cleanup. He joins us from Leiden in the Netherlands. Thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you. First of all, congratulations. How does it feel to remove, I think, the most significant portion ever from this great Pacific garbage patch? Yeah, thank you. Well, it, it's obviously it feels uh, it feels quite good, of course, to to reach this milestone. And it's something that we've been working towards for for years already. So this is quite a big step in our development. And uh, uh, well, of course, there's a lot to go and a lot of uh, ground to cover, a lot of ocean to cover. Uh, but this is uh, this is a big step, and we're definitely very happy that we have reached this milestone. That's really amazing. Now, for those of us who are not that acquainted, of course, as you uh, with the the patch, where is it located, and and how long has it actually been there that it grew to these dimensions? Well, this this garbage patch is located uh, in the North Pacific Ocean, so it's sort of midway uh, Hawaii and and the California coast. Um, uh, how long it's been there is not fully known because there has only recently done uh, uh, research to the, the contents of this garbage patch. But, but basically, it started growing as soon as, as humanity started producing plastics um, and, and, well, losing it in, in, in nature or in any other way. Um, there's five of these areas in the world, in the world's oceans, as far as we know. Uh, this is the biggest one. And indeed, we um, we estimate it to be about uh, 97 million kilos of plastic. Um, it looks a little bit different than the images that, that we've just seen. It's, it's, it's more spread out. So the images of that, that densely packed plastics as an island, that's more towards coastal areas where there is, uh, there's other plastic pollution problems. Out in the ocean, it's more spread out. Uh, and it's in, a, it's in a very large area uh, that is uh, three times the size of France, we say, or two times the size of Texas. Now, um, now you've mentioned area. that it's halfway between Hawaii and and uh, California, more or less. What sort of things do you find there when you collect the garbage? Where does it come from? Because often these plastics are, are labeled. How far away from that area does the plastic arrive from? Basically, it can, it can come from anywhere in the world. Um, so indeed, we have done research. We investigated the the plastics that we took out. There's there's labels or markings on uh, on the on the plastics where they are produced. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean where they are uh, entering the ocean, of course, but it gives an indication. Uh, and it's from various regions. And and in the North Pacific, it's it's predominantly from uh, the Eastern Asian and and uh, Western Americas, of course, because that's the closest to to this ocean. But uh, we see plastics basically from all over the world there, and it consists of a, a variety of hard plastics. There's a lot of ropes and nets in the um, uh, in the materials that we see there, um, and it's it's mostly the the heavier types of plastics, the ones that are sort of floating deeper in the water. 
So plastics like styrofoam and such we don't see in this area because that's blown onto the beaches and such. Now, uh, really quickly, there's two things that I want to cover and we don't have much time left. So first of all, how do you do it? What's your technology? Uh, it must be difficult to, to, to remove all this plastic. Yeah, it is, and that's, I guess, why it's not been done yet. Um, and uh, the, the methodology that we use now is uh, uh, we tow a large, what we call retention system, and that's basically there to, to sweep the plastics together. Uh, because as I said, it's widely spread, so we cannot just go there with a ship and pick it up. That would be very inefficient. So we tow that retention system through the area, so we collect all the plastics, and then it assembles in a retention zone, as we call it. And that's the thing that we drag onto the deck, as you uh, you just showed in that video. Uh, and then we we store it on the ship and bring it to shore to recycle it into uh, in in a responsible way. Wow! And there you see the it. costs must be enormous. How do you sponsor your uh, great efforts? Well, we, we rely on funding and donations uh, uh, from philanthropists and from organizations helping us. Um, so there's a, there's a range of organizations uh, to uh, to help us doing this, and they they fund us in in a monetary way, or they they do work in kind, or they uh, provide us with with equipment or tools and such. Uh, so we mostly rely on, on on donations and funding in that way. Okay, so I imagine anyone can enter your website, um, the ocean cleanup and take part in the great effort to clean the ocean. Thank Definitely. you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Arjen Chaloma, for joining us today. Thank you.